Hey there, YouTube. Again, I'm really sorry about episode the 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 real episode 13, the lost episode. Um, I found a lot of cool stuff, so it's a little upsetting that it's lost. But you know what? All you can do is move forward um, from from there and and uh, and just enjoy it, right? So, enough about the bad stuff. Let's talk about some good stuff. Some good news. This is my episode 14, the real 14. And we are still here on the Intricate Effects server. We've been busy. Busy, busy like a beaver. So, let's look over here at our, our board. What we've been doing. Yggdrasil. Uh, and Builders breed job and job job. And stop dying. I uh, didn't die anymore since I died those three times. From episode 13 and they made me sad, but it's okay. I, di I didn't die because of episode 13. I died after episode 13 doing some stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Um, I made a modification to my my portal here because I've come to the realization that these things are not very safe when left on the ground and mobs can spawn and walk into them. Uh, these guys are disabled for the time being because I actually have... Come on, go, go, go. I have three white coats. He's at seven trades, so he's got two more. Um, if the next one isn't a paper trade and the last one is a paper trade, that's a perfect uh, villager. Um, uh, and that's what they. Some people call them perfect villagers because you could basically trade. Whenever you trade on the last trade, it clears off their trades. Um, and we'll go over that in a little more detail. What I brought you for in right now... Oh! Come back down now, buddy. Anytime. There we go. Uh, what I brought you in for right now is... I was going to show you how I've been building this uh, reed farm. And this isn't my design. It's uh, a combination. The original design is by a gentleman named Daedalus. And the tutorial uh, that I've been... The, the one, the tutorial that I watched to do this was uh, is by a guy named Mumbo Jumbo, uh, and I'll link to his tutorial uh, in the video so that you guys can see how he does it. But I wanted to show you how 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 easy someone who is not that great at you know redstone yet or uh, yeah, those kind of me uh, mechanics of the game. I'm not a super technical guy. Obviously I'm not a very good non-technical guy either. I have 17 deaths. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm going to just show you how simple this is. Once you get this pattern down, it's a breeze and a half. Uh, oh, hey, what's up down there, guy? So, we come through with a row like this. You, you can use... Uh, you can't use sand. Uh, you can, it's just a pain in the butt um, to get around. But, oh... Was waiting for that. See, this is why, man. It's not safe. This is why. This is what happens when you talk and play. Um, but I think I die more when I don't talk. So we come through with the with the road dirt, and that will be where our sugar cane is going to go on top of. Okay. So within these little cells here, we're going to need to put water. So we need to basically block those off. Um, I thought I made two more of these. Come on. On sticks. Now, in in the tutorial uh, that I watched, he didn't. It was not. Um, I don't know that it wasn't explained, or I missed something. I missed a, a portion of it um, when they explained. But uh, basically, above this block right here, you need something like a piece of glass. Someone was like, "Oh, you can use half slabs." And as far as right now, one point. Uh, 7.2, yep, uh, the half slabs were causing it to not work correctly. So everywhere where I have a torch from the previous level, I am throwing a block of glass. And this is to block off the, um, this is to block off the water so that we can have the sugar cane growing. And it's, it's just a repeating pattern, which is awesome because then you could expand this 
from bedrock till you know who knows how high I'm not gonna have this be super super big um, and even to, in today's video I'm not gonna have it automated just yet uh, for now I'm gonna have it be done by hand because I am I want to build this up maybe five for now and then I have an expansion if I want to do another half um, I need the sugar cane to make paper to trade the villagers because the the white coats or the librarians I call them or the librarians they have um, they'll trade paper for emeralds so give them a couple pieces of paper they give you a couple emeralds and then you take those emeralds and you can trade them with the other guys the priests over there the pink coats they give um, balls of enchanting eyes of ender um, and the blacksmiths which are the the pretty good ones pretty good ones or the good ones in my opinion are the ones that you that I'm trying to keep and hold on to because basically the blacksmiths are gonna give me um, all the any kind of diamond armor and gear that I might want uh, diamond picks uh, things like that so we could basically save our our diamonds for other things and just use these villagers for example I know I'm off topic here but this guy right here co the coal trade at the beginning is kind of bad so I might get rid of him but I can get a diamond sword for 13 emeralds right I have four, I have 46 right now and that was just from unlocking seven trades with that guy and one of his trades was you know 10 diamonds for a little weak ass enchant pardon my language now aren't these things getting sucked up well, I guess they are. I guess I'm just going over. Um, yeah. I might need to expand this out one more. I'm not sure. I'll have to test it. Uh, Alright. Oh, yeah. I came down here to get water. That's what I came down here to get. Uh, I have eight buckets. Do I have enough room in my inventory for these? Maybe not. Which we're going to try anyway. Let's toss these in here. I'm not going to get rid of those just yet because while I build this I've been going back over there because the more the more paper that I have um, the better I'm gonna be oh you got so much stuff in my inventory I keep trying to clear off yeah it's not bad you know if that's bad leaving the stuff there I know I know, I know. Um, but having all these villagers is also I mean if you have one villager if you could cure a villager and just have it at your base it is wonderful because the zombies leave me alone and let me do on what I need to do on. I might, I might try and take a villager over to everyone's um, base just so that they have it for uh, protection um, as like bait. We'll give them some, you know, butcher or something like that, or a blacksmith. I don't know, whatever they want. We'll, we'll, we'll let them decide. I'll let them place an order or something, you know, <laughs> trade. <laughs> I'll trade you a villager. They're paying the butt to move through the Nether. I know that much. Sorry, L I keep keep getting lost, lo lost track. Keep getting off track. I need one more scoop. Oh, can I get that from here? Nope. I'll take this one. Uh, so yeah. Again, this is a super easy repeating pattern, and you're probably like, get back to building the stupid silo, Sigma. You big jerk. Well, I am. We got cows in there. Chia Pet Abe Lincoln is looking good. <laughs> the Chia Pet. He is a Chia Pet. Alright. Back up to what we were doing. Okay. So. We want every other jobber with water. Basically everywhere I have the glass is where I'm throwing a water. Um, and this isn't very safe to be up here either. But. I'm getting left alone by everybody and their mother right now, so I'm liking that. See? We got villagers, we got zombies down there, we got zombies over there, we got zombies right there. Villagers, 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 villagers. I think I have enough villagers right now to start to, if I wanted to spawn a golem, but I don't want to mess with golems. Right now. Maybe not ever. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. So now that we've got that, um, I should be able to place sugar cane on every single block in this. 
Oh, whoa, 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 in this thing. Oh, hey, there's Fred Jones. Say hi to Fred. Hi, Fred, from YouTube. He's supposed to be out of town this weekend, and he is not out of town right now. That is, that is Minecrafting. He might actually be leaving today. I don't know. I'm just talking smacks. Some snacks. Okay, so now that we have all the sugar cane up, we want to put a solid block behind all the sugar cane, like this, and like this. Oh, as I fall, that, was not, that would not have been fun. Um, oh, actually, I can even go this way. Even better. Boop, 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 and... No, I actually don't need one there. Just kidding. Oof. Oh, I thought I was going to die. I need to go get some Feather Falling Boots. That's what I need to enchant. I might try and enchant next. I do have Feather Falling on a book, but it also has Infinity. And it's tough. Because I think it's easier to get Feather Falling than it is Infinity. I don't know. It's a debate. I should just not fall off stuff is a better idea. How about that one, Sigma? Okay. So, we've got... We've got our our blocks behind. Now we place pistons. This is a it's not it's a somewhat expensive ordeal um, overall, but in the long run, it pays for itself. Like it's, the bottom line is it pays for itself. Now right here is not dangerous at all. It's just that outside part is kind of dangerous because right here I just fall and hit water. Right, ideally. So we want to face them. We want to face these bad boys all towards. Oh, come on. We want to face these bad boys all towards the uh, sugar cane. Is the the goal? Because then these are gonna, once they're set up on their little timer MD, they're gonna basically kick and pulse and they'll kick all the grown sugar cane off and it's going to get collected in the hoppers down there and then I will convert it into paper and then I will trade it to villagers for various items. Oh man. Hmm. You know what? Let's go through this way. Come on Ryan Gosling. We got this. Come on Ryan Gosling. Aw. Oh, there we go. Thank you Ryan Gosling. I'll hop it down. Oh here we go. We'll do it like this. Oh, what? No! Come on, guy. I might have to jump down now. Sucks. I wish there was a way I could rotate it on the block, but I can't. Let's see if I can... No, it's going to do it like that. All right, we're just going to go like that, okay? Whatever. And there's ice here, so it moves faster. I can use any block, but I decided to use ice because I didn't listen to the guy. He's like, oh, you can use anything. I was like, already got ice. I'm doing it with ice. All right. Now that that is all set, and this is, this is, the reason this is so redonk is because this is on survival, alright, this isn't freaking creative where I can zip zop doo da around and, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm like Superman, that would have been bad, um, let me block this off for a time being, so I don't fall and die again, so now we want to come up, and be on the back, basically be on the backs of these things, right? Um, and do this same pattern I have below here. I'm just gonna go along, just moving right along. <laughs> listening to some music. I've been listening to a uh, Finnish. Uh, I guess they. They're classified as folk metal uh, group called Insiferum. Uh, I I absolutely love them. They're awesome. I'm a big I'm a big fan of like hip hop as well. But there's something about just like you know really good metal and rock that just gets my blood just like yeah. Insiferum actually means sword bearing in Latin, and pff, right now I'm an Insiferum. Boom. What's up, guys? Uh, but yeah, their, their music is... I, just, I, I absolutely uh, love it. I don't think there's any other songs. I One of the first songs that I heard, a friend of mine who plays guitar, sent, sent me the song, and I was like, whoa, these guys are like 
awesome. And he's like, I know, right? And I went and like bought their entire, uh, you know, catalog uh, on iTunes. I was like, boom, doing it. So now we're going to go ahead and skip every other block here inside. And those will extend those pistons. On this side, however, it gets two. It, it, it's technically not skipping. Well, I guess we're skipping that one. That one gets skipped, but... I mean, those go like that. Anyway. And... Oh, this one. And that's that. That is that is the same... Oh, we don't need one right there. Um, that's the same thing. It, it just repeats that pattern all the way up as high as you want to expand it. Uh, I think... I, is this row four? I think this is row four. And then see, we just do a pulse. Yep, it works. Everything is extended, which is where we want it. And then we go back up with the dirt again, right? So look at that. We have four bays. I have, I have one more bay, and half of this thing is going to be done. I only am going to do... Ooh, excuse me. Ugh, indigestion or something. Banana burp is what it was. Uh, I'm only going to do five. Five bays. Um, but let me go ahead and show you what I... Oh, let me show you what I was doing last night. Um, we'll do a little bit of trading real quick, and then I'm going to call it an episode. Oh, man, look at this. This is beautiful. I had to dig all this out, obviously. Still working up on that stuff. It's looking real good. Um, but you have to... Every, you know, everything you want to do in life, you have to do moderation. Even if you're you know, playing video games or playing sports or eating or exercising even, uh, you want to do it in moderation because if you do too much of one thing, even even if you play like Minecraft for like 75 hours a day like I do, um, while I can, I'm enjoying it while I can because my new job, I'm not going to be able to play as much. So I wanted to get as much done here as I could and set up so that I can come on, do my little things and get on with it. But, you know, you want to, you can't, if you focus on one project for too long, you start to resent what you're doing, and it's it's not good. So, broke it up. I worked on the villagers. They didn't work. They were not working out. So I said, okay, I'm just gonna take a step back, do something else. Worked on the cows. Worked on the spawner. Spawner wasn't working, so I went and did something else. Started building that. Fixed the spawner. Fixed the villagers. Fixed the cows. And you know, we're back in swimming and things. We got horses going. We've been caving. We're using up a lot of resources to build this thing, but it's so beautiful. I'm gonna love it. I'm not really in love with the stone, but it's okay. I might clean it up a little bit. Um, but anyway, so yeah, everything in moderation, guys. Everything in moderation, even even villager trading. So uh, give me a sec. Let me get set up real quick, and we will get to trade, and we'll show you what that's all about. It took a little bit longer than I anticipated because it started raining, and I had to go sleep. Thankfully, one Fred Jones was in the nether. He is looking at a nether fortress, or looking for the nether fortress. So, okay, it's this guy. <clears throat> so this villager here, I have, oh, it was only seven, my bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now they'll have nine. So basically what I want to do is I'll have to, you have to trade those ten emeralds and get a compass and then wait and see if he unlocks it. But before you do that, you basically want to expire as many of these as you want. I don't want to trade those for glass. I don't want to trade those for books. I don't want any more lure books. But I do want to exhaust his paper, his written book, and his books. So, let's craft a couple more. Uh, let's craft some books, and let's craft some paper, and let's get those trading. Let's see, I actually have another written book right there. I think I could do four or five, and then he gets mad. Um, so we'll make some paper of these reeds, or uh, sugar cane, I'm sorry. I don't even know when they changed it. I'm pretty sure when I started playing, they were called reeds. Um, and then I think they changed it to sugar cane. But again, I've played off and on for a long time. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so slow at this. I'm so slow at making paper. Making that paper to make them emeralds to get that green. Boom! Oh, hey, 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 book. Uh, let's take one more stack. One more stack. Look at all this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful paper. 
I've almost exhausted all my ink supply too. I might have to go hang out at spawn and get some. Um, let's take some leather. I think I could do like four or five book trades and then he gets mad. He's not actually, he's not mad. He's just like, alright, I'm, I'm over you guy. I'm over you. And I'm like, I'll never be over you. I just don't know how to quit you. I don't know what that's from either. It's from a movie. It's a movie reference. I think. Screw it. Let's just make up 64 books. Let's dilly dallying around with making one book at a time. Bull crap. I'm going to trade them, right? Alright, so I got two written books. So let's do the written books first because that is probably the easiest. Alright. We're going to write you a. We're going to. Well, what about this? I wrote this lovely book. Yeah? Alright, good. This, we're going to trade you this book. Yeah, you're feeling that one? Alright. Let's write two more books. Hey, YouTube. Where are my survivors at? I love you all. JK. Nah, I do. Sign. We're going to call it Love Sigvivors. Sign and close. Now, you don't actually have to type out that much stuff. You could literally watch this. Uh, sign. We're going to title it A. Sign and close. Done. Watch. He'll, he'll still take it regardless. Love Love Sigvivors. Here we go. A. You want to buy that book? For an emerald? Oh, good. This is a bestseller right here. Minecraft bestseller, guys. Yep, he took it. He did. All right, let's see if he can get him one more book. One more book. Call this one Phil Collins. I love me some Phil Collins. One more book. Ooh, he does want one more book, and it's by Phil Collins. Ooh, let's see now if that one's expired. Wow, he's still going with that one. Well, that was unexpected. He generally only wants like two or three, and then he's like, eh, screw you, jerk. I don't want your books. Your books are weak sauce. Oh, oh, we have two more written already. Good, 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 good. Let's take that book. I doubt he's going to want two more books, but we're going to see if he does. Th this will be the one where he's like, nope, no more books. Suck on that one. What I used to do before I knew about Villager, like, you know, before you could trade for days, before I would basically exhaust the paper trade uh, or the hopefully it was a book trade and I'd steal all the librarians books yeah oh wow he's going up to se seven books wow well okay instead of going back there let's exhaust some of his other trades he loves these books damn this librarian loves him some books look at this from one villager so so far. This is just right now while I've been talking to you guys. Mm-hmm. So 19. This this guy has a ex more expensive paper trade than the other guy. Wow. Holy crap. I was not expecting this at all. Alright, there we go. Okay. So his paper trade is now expired. Alright, now let's go ahead and... Alright, that book is one is now expired. So let's sign a couple more books and I'll show you the magic in action. This has been a good... I've been lucky with that villager right there. And we're basically saving these emeralds um, to trade with the blacksmith and to trade with that villager in hopes that his final slot is another paper trade. Um, if the final slot is another paper trade then he will renew um, he'll renew himself uh, like I'm gonna do right now now I've exhausted two of those trades and hopefully we can exhaust the other one. Oh, actually no I won't I want to take these with me oh a o a o a o a o a o a o a o um yeah, you can actually break the villagers too. So hopefully, if I get a perfect one, it does not end up breaking. See, no more books. He does want some signed books, though. You want some of my best work? There we go. One more. What the crap? This has got to be the last one. Yep. Okay. There we go. He doesn't want it. 
Look at that. Oh, I have 64 diamonds. Oh my gosh, look at that. What the hell? Did that really glitch? Oh my, you've got to be kidding me. Those aren't real, though. There we go. Well, those four went away. Look at that. Look at that. Look at them go away. Look at that. Oh no. The diamonds are disappearing in my inventory. They're gone. <laughs> I just lost a stack of emeralds. <laughs> I call them diamonds. No, they're emeralds. It's just a, a, a visual glitch. Okay. So, his trades, three trades are expired. The books, which we like, that which he bought a lot of my written books, and the paper. So, we're going to go to the last one now. We're going to give him ten di or emeralds and take a compass. Now, what happens is, he's going to sit here. He's going to be like, hmm. He's thinking. He's thinking. He got the green. The green gems means he's he's healed, and he's willing to trade books, written books, and paper again. And hopefully, nope, he did not unlock that last trade. So basically, now what I'll do again is that, just that, I'm gonna trade him as many of these books as he'll possibly take. We're gonna trade him as many written books as he'll possibly take. We're gonna trade him as much paper, and then try it again. So I'm gonna get to that point again, and we'll be right back watch the clock swoosh if i did clock swoosh i might do something else but clock swoosh all right we're back up to where we want to be uh to see if we can give him a, a trade that he likes um so here we go exhausted 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 garbage 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 okay we'll give it a second I had to turn particles off so I can't actually view what he's doing. I actually moved them. I was like, oh, instead of like keep running up there and grabbing stuff, I'm just going to put them where I built them for. I built this for this purpose. I haven't traded with him yet. Uh, he just got that sword. So what we'll do is we'll probably trade a bunch of coal to him and then take a diamond sword when it's time. Ah, still nothing yet. But that's okay, because we could keep exhausting his um, his paper and his books while I've got those. So, yeah, just keep rinse and repeat in that cycle. Uh, the compasses are actually not terrible because this saves me on uh, making them myself. And now I have a map. Can I name the map? Let's take a look. Oh, hey, whoa, whoa. So this is this is my this is where I live. You can see we got Yggdrasil right there on the bottom. Uh, there's the house. You can see my rows of crops. This is actually pretty cool. I like I love I love maps. Let's see if we can make it. Let's make it bigger real quick while I've got you guys here. So, scaling at one to one. No, we want to make it a little bit bigger. What's level zero out of four? How do I make it bigger? Let's see if that did anything. I don't remember how to make maps bigger, but I know you can. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. We want this map. Because it kind of... Look at that. It shows... We've got the, the skeleton spawner down there. This is dope. We're going to put this up somewhere, too. It doesn't cause too much lag. Nice. So, that's it, guys. That's that's my little little villager trading demonstration. Uh, there's plenty out there that do a really good job. Uh, basically going to be doing that. Going to do that now that we've got the villagers on the trading, on the reg. We can get some some uh, emeralds and and you know get some gear without using our diamonds. Uh, I mean we can we could use our diamonds, but we could what we'll use the diamonds for is for for trading for other stuff with uh, everyone else on the server. I could use my emeralds for doing some other things. So until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, love the comments. Love the views. Love my viewers. Until next time.
keep on Minecrafting. Minecraft. Thanks for the view. Sigma, like and subscribe. Sigviver, Sigvival, Sig.